Do you have questions on how to properly care for your pet? When is the right time to get your pet spayed or neutered? Or maybe you're looking for a place for your pet to stay while you go on vacation. Mapleview Animal Hospital. Dr. Bader from Mapleview Animal Hospital gives you great advice for your pets. Mapleview Animal Hospital on Panther Drive at the corner of Riley and 136th on Holland's North Side. And on the web at mapleviewanimalhospital.net. Mapleview Animal Hospital. They love your pet like you do. How's coming back to Hope College? Oh, it, it's incredible. Um, you know, it, the words blessing come to mind. Uh, it's an honor to be here and, uh, you know, having the privilege of being here as a student and uh, playing for Coach Van Weren was, was an outstanding experience and, and loved my uh, tenure as a 25-year high school coach. Um, but being back on campus is, is outstanding. You shared with me an interesting story that I, I don't think we can't bring it up. And actually, it was Jan Mewson, who's with us on Tuesdays, brought this story up. Uh, and these are the, the, the great things that I wouldn't know unless somebody tells me about traditions, how Coach Van Weeren and you played for him. During Thanksgiving, he would raise a turkey named Calvin, and then you guys would eat the turkey at Thanksgiving. How long did he do that? Um, I think it was a little bit after me, but I, I do know that uh, that was the case. Coach was certainly resourceful in the world uh, and, and of motivation and everything else. So, and I know there was a, there was a lot of pleasure uh, eating that, that turkey named Calvin. So uh, and anything to motivate guys, I tell you. Well, I, I bring that up <laughs> for a reason. I think it's not just to talk about killing a turkey. But it's kind of an interesting way to talk about this rivalry that really is – one of the more heated basketball rivalries in the country, and you, like you said, played at Hope, and you understand the tradition as a player. What is that rivalry like? How can you take people onto the court so they can at least get a taste of what mm-hmm. players and coaches experience? Well, I think what makes a, a great rivalry, first of all, is just that it's, it's competitive. And, and obviously, over the years, that's the most competitive rivalry ever. I mean, even down to the individual points that have been tabulated. Um, and it's just a great traditional rivalry when you have – Mutual respect, two great institutions, two great programs that you know legendary, uh, legendary epic battles and, and and great coaches over the years and phenomenal players. Uh, it just it builds and it, the key thing is both are successful programs. So year in and year out, the game means a great deal. You have a lot of players that know each other that are that are from West Michigan, um, and so it just it's grown in, in epic proportions. The the community support from both both campuses. Uh, just make it what it is, and uh, it's certainly a red letter game every single year on both schedules. What's it like? They're as close a, enough yeah. too that you can yeah, go but, to each yeah. game too. So Proximity that's, makes a yes. huge difference. And these kids probably played in high school together, Absolutely. and now they're playing against each other. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I know a lot of players who I've talked to say that you know they played in high school again, like you said, against each other, and then they went to Hope and Calvin, and they're playing again. What was that like as a player playing in that rivalry? We'll talk um, about what it's like is going to be like as a coach, but what was it like as a sure. player? Well, and for me, being from from Mid Michigan, I didn't I didn't grow up with it, so didn't have a full taste of it until you first step on the court and see the the rabid environment and how much it means to people. <laughs> it didn't take long to realize that this this is epic, and to play in it was a blast. I'll be completely honest. I mean, if you can't get motivated as a player for something like that, then you don't have blood running through your veins, first of all. Um, so, again, it didn't take long to figure out that this, this game meant everything. And, and the reason, again, that it means so much is that it typically determines the league battle, and, and you're, we're always playing for a championship. So uh, great players, great, uh, great institutions, great tradition, and a game that just means everything as the uh, as the season rolls on. So uh, now it's great to be back on the sidelines and a part of that again. He's Greg Mitchell. He's the head basketball coach, the new head basketball coach, upcoming season for the Flying Dutchman. He comes from uh, Lansburg High School, which is, if you know where that's from, that's near Lansing. And what's that like, commuting back and forth between Lansing before you guys can... I think you said your family is going to move to the area, but what's that commute like? Well, it's not a daily commute at all. That's the nice thing. I have, I have a place here in Holland. Um, so I get back... Uh, on weekends when I can, try to still do the, the fatherly, fatherly thing and husband thing. But right now my, uh, my commitment is here on campus with this basketball team and, and uh, this college. Let's get into the basketball. We talked about some of the fluff. Uh, not that Calvin and Hope is fluff, but we mentioned the turkey that, that Coach Van Weeren used to slaughter and you guys would eat. Uh, that's kind of a brutal way to say that. Maybe not. Maybe not slaughter, but you guys he raised it. Yeah, raised it, and then they they they, yes. they they you know they 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 ate it, which is a respectable thing to do. Um, you guys have your first exhibition game tonight against Grand Valley. 
Uh, Division two, always a very, very good program. What you think you guys are ready for tonight's game? Oh, we're definitely ready. I think when you when you go through you know twenty twenty three practices and uh, you know we've had a scrimmage against Northwood, but um, going against each other each day, uh, I know for for guys that's a grind. It gets old, and you want to go against somebody else. So that's uh, and we know it's going to be a challenge. Uh, we're certainly up for it. We're ready for it. It's it's great that it's at home. We're uh, you know we respect Grand Valley for coming over to our place for an exhibition game, and we certainly know it's going to be a tough task. Well, and last year that game was was fairly close. The final score. And again, at DeVos, that place always can get rocking, even in an exhibition game. Uh, and you take a look at the beginning of your schedule, Grand Valley, and then you open up against the defending national champions uh, on, I believe, the, the 16th? 18th. 18th, yeah. thank you. We, you mentioned and talked about that during the luncheon a couple of days ago. W what is it like to have the defending national champions coming in on the first real game? Well, I d it's an opportunity. I mean, you can look at it, and, and it can... Uh, wear on you and overwhelm you if you think, geez, you know, why would we want this on our schedule? I look at it just the opposite. Um, what a great test to see where we are. You know, it's not every day you have a chance to play a team like Whitewater that's been that successful. But, you know, we look at ourselves as a as a, a team of national prom prominence as well. And why not see the best that's out there and, and really give yourself a chance to measure who you are, where you are, and uh, it, I mean, it's to me, it's a lot better to, to schedule up than schedule down. It's going to uh, expose maybe areas that need to be shored up, but also, I mean, the guys will be ready. It'll be a great challenge. The, uh, it's great for our fans, great for our, our college, and uh, we'll, we'll certainly be ready for them. Greg Mitchell, he's the new men's basketball coach at Hope College. Their exhibition game is tonight, seven o'clock at DeVos. It's against Grand Valley, and then, like we were talking about, Wisconsin Whitewater, the defending three Division three national champions, come in on November. 8th and a very 18th. 18th sorry I missed the first the missed the number one the 18th they come in on November 18th Wisconsin Whitewater a uh, very big test to begin Greg Mitchell's tenure at Hope College I, I have to ask I think it would be doing a disservice not to what are your thoughts taking over on something that a lot of people in the community obviously don't know with what happened with Matt Neal uh, I, I just think it's the opportunity for for uh, me to put everything I can into the job you know it's 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 a focus forward thing I certainly don't have all the ins and outs about uh about coach Neal's tenure and nowhere in my opinion does that really matter because I think right now the focus is is forward on, on where we are as a program and you know building great relationships with these these players um you know players that I didn't necessarily recruit but but number one my job was to build that that connection and, and trust and loyalty with them which we're working really hard to do the players have responded to to change very positively uh, I think we're building a great culture, a great environment. Even without and a turkey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Didn't have those bells and whistles as a part of the tenure. You going to have the turkey tradition, or are you going to create something new on your uh, own? <laughs> you know what? Let's, I'm, I'm focused on Grand Valley tonight. We'll, we'll work about on those traditions a little bit later. But, uh, no, I think, you know, again, and, and the other piece is to have uh, – you know the assistant coaching staff is back, and so there's a great rapport already with within the culture of the team. And you know I've been affiliated with these coaches for years, working summer camp uh, forever, and um, so it's it's a work in progress, but one that I think that's going very very well right now. What kind of style of play can we expect from your team? Because I think a lot of people have told us the buzz from Hope College is that these boys are probably going to be pretty good this year. Mm -hmm. Well, we've, we're we're very athletic and we're deep. Uh, we've got. You know, essentially nine guards on the roster, and, and they can all play. And our our bigs aren't necessarily, you know, huge in size and physicality, but they're very athletic. So we're trying to, you know, implement a style that benefits them. Uh, we're trying to open up the floor a little bit, use our athleticism, use our depth, our versatility, and and try to play a little bit faster. And and again, if you, you know, if you create a style that's conducive to the personnel that you have, and 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 they're comfortable with it, and you get a good buy-in. Uh, we certainly feel like we can maximize our potential. So I think it will be fun to watch. I think it's a fun brand of basketball, and it starts with having great athletes that really enjoy playing together, and I feel like we have that. He's Greg Mitchell. He's the new head coach of the Flying Dutchman. Their first game exhibition opener is tonight. Grand Valley comes in 7 o'clock, and then their home opener of the season starts November 18th against Wisconsin Whitewater. That's 7.30 at DeVos Fieldhouse. Greg, last question. Kind of a lighthearted question, but one that I think a lot of people still look to, and you're probably tired of hearing about it, but you still hold the three-point record at Hope College. Would you like to see that broken at some point? Uh, absolutely. I, I don't take, put too much stock in that, to be honest. <laughs> I think 
anybody that saw me play knew that uh, I wasn't a big shot creator. I was surrounded with great, great players. You know, Eric Elliott, an All-American point guard, and Matt Strong, a tremendous post player that people had to double down on. So I just had to toe up and, and make shots. And so uh, whatever. And, and, you know, now the line's a little further back. So, you know, if anybody really wants to pay attention, it's almost, you know, a, an easy record from back then because that line was closer to the hoop. But no big deal. I would love for uh, – a number of our players to break that record. I, it, that doesn't mean a lot to me. Well, very humble response. But Greg Mitchell, he's the Flying Dutchman head coach. Game tonight, Grand Valley, 7 o'clock at DeVos, and then they open up their season on the 18th against Wisconsin Whitewater. The defending national champions coming at 7.30 on the 18th. Greg, thank you so much, and best of luck tonight. You bet, Dan. Jan, thanks for having me in. Appreciate it.